हेलो दिस इज शिमोना चक्रवर्ती नमस्कार सदगुरु सदगुरु आई वॉन्ट टू नो द ट्रूथ अबाउट एस्ट्रोलॉजी आई मीन आई नो इट इज़ अ साइंस बट यू नो मीन वन हैज़ टू मैच हर स्कोर बिफोर अ वेडिंग और अ मांगलिक गर्ल हु इज सपोज टू वेड अ ट्री फर्स्ट यू नो बिफोर शी मैरीज द गाय और द फैक्ट दैट यू नो वन हैज़ टू वेयर पर्टिकुलर स्टोन्स टू हेल्प विद वेरियस थिंग्स इन लाइफ so what is the truth about it and what is the reality of it all i mean because it is very confusing to our generation to understand because either we rebel or you know succumb to parental pressure so if you could help us understand the truth about it it would be wonderful thank you so much pranam namaskaram sumona well i like this idea of marrying a tree <laughs> i'm married to trees you know <laughs> I think it's a good idea, very stable partner, rooted. In today's life, getting somebody so rooted is a rare thing, it's really a great idea. And <laughs> see, horoscopes are being matched. What it means is stars are being matched. But how do you match these two idiots? It's not possible, <laughs> nobody can match these two idiots. Only if they take responsibility for each other, if they show some sense of involvement and invest their lives in each other, then something wonderful may happen. If you match them, <laughs> doesn't matter how you match them, nothing is going to work out. This is why for most people, all love affairs and marriages are beautiful only for some time. After that, it is one big anxiety or non-stop friction. Simply because people are trying to match each other, you cannot match people. No two human beings are same, it will not work that way. It is just that if you hold the other person's well-being above your own, then you will find everything works out. If your life is about extracting happiness from somebody else, you will see it will become bitter over a period of time. If your life is about sharing the joy that you are, then everything will work out. It doesn't matter what the stars say. Anyway, stars can speak what they want. Once you come here as a human being, you are supposed to create this life. This is the only creature on the planet who can structure its own life. If you want to give that up and allow inanimate things like planets and stars to decide the future of who you are, it's a tragic way to exist. So please, you and whoever else is influenced by you, please tell them to take their lives into their hands. It doesn't matter. And how silly is it that a third person that you do not know is going to tell you whether you will live happily or not with your husband or your wife? How vulgar is that? Take up this responsibility in your hand. It doesn't matter what kind of fool you marry. You take up the responsibility that you will live well, and that's the only way you will live well.